Hi everyone, this is Sal with Moon Valley Nurseries and right now we're talking about different types of pests and disease that might be in your home and garden and the landscape areas around your house. So one of the things we're going to talk about at the start is what's called shot hole fungus. So this is kind of common to see in the spring, I'd say mostly. It's pretty evident when we see it coming in the nursery, whether we get a sample on a cell phone or actual bag or leaf or whatever that's brought in the store, it literally looks like little shotgun holes that went through a leaf. And it's usually surrounded by little brown or black spots kind of around it. So it's pretty obvious when it's on there. You see it on softer foliage especially. It's pretty typical to see uh, in those kind of moist early season type growing seasons. So once we've identified what it is and you've brought that to us, we can kind of tell where it's at in your yard, what type of plant it's on. And we're going to go into maybe some proper preventative maintenance for it. So things we can do, you can kind of keep excess moisture out of there. Make sure the plant's not getting over water. Make sure it's happy and healthy. Maybe go through and make sure we're on a regular fertilizing you know, regiment with you and depending on what it is we probably recommend like some moon dust or something on a regular basis to keep it as happy and healthy as we can throughout the year. When we know kind of what to do from a prevention standpoint one of the things we like to do is really kind of go through and, and treat the actual issue itself. So a couple things we like to do copper fungicide is fantastic for this guys read the label right on the back it'll explain to you how much to put onto the plant but really what we're looking to do is put it into a, a hose end type sprayer and soak the plant up and down all over the leaves, really coat the whole thing and treat for that shot hole that's on there. Once we have that treated for, we like to treat kind of from the inside out, which is where the systemic, where what essentially gets sucked up into the, the root system, we like to use that next. So a good mixing bucket, the product itself, mix that in the bucket, pour it the entire width of the plant or tree, soak it in there, it'll treat it from the inside out, help kind of be resistant to it for maybe up to six months, pretty darn good product to be using. We're going to talk watering with you, specific to your tree, your landscape, the area that it's in. We're going to talk fertilizing regimen. And one of the things we really want to do to kind of help get rid of this in a hurry is use something like our Moon Boost. It's full of all kinds of nutrients. It's got our nitrogen, magnesium, sulfur, iron, potassium, manganese, all kinds of stuff. So, and then really what I love seeing on, on stuff that's got fungus is going through and putting Moon Juice on there. So when we're talking Moon Juice, we really want to kind of kick that plant into high gear. That first liquid will kind of trick it into but not everything's as severe as maybe it was what it had been. So that'll really help with aiding the plant recovering a little faster for you. And again, one of the things we wanna talk about is what you've been using in the past for fertilizer, if at all, and make sure we're using some sort of fertilizer on a regular basis to keep the plant at optimal health. Happy trees, healthy trees are usually a little more resistant to those types of pests and disease like the shot hole. So take a look at it, come see us in the nursery. We'll give you some brochures, give you some proper advice. Make sure we're helping you guys out. Come see our amazing nursery. We got an awesome place here, guys. Love to help you out. See you when you come in.